Today we've got a power supply video and I bought this off eBay because you don't often see them and that is it's a 12.6 volt power supply so some of the CB sets we've covered like um, some of the handhelds are 12 volt radios some of those emergency sets are 12 volt radios if you put them on 13.8 you'll destroy the radio so there are one or two CB type power supplies which are 12 volt and 12.6 and 12.8 is what a lead acid battery is when it's fully charged so it's just simulating a normal car battery whereas 13.8 volt is simulating when it's charging so for the 12 volt radios this kind of power supply is ideal and it's made this one's made by Alfa Electronica in Parma Italy and I know Bremi certainly did one as well I don't know if I've seen one of those so I'm going to open it up and we're going to test it out and we're going to service it if it needs whatever doing now we're on Mr Chippy's bench and uh, he's not here at the moment so we, while he's away no that's uh, that's the wrong screwdriver because I'll tell you what if he sees me using his screwdrivers Deu capacitor there, and it's got another capacitor down at the bottom here. We have to do this with a camcorder, uh, and so it's limited. So, what have we got here? It's a 7812, so that's interesting. It's purports to be two amps with five amp surge well it's not going to take us that's not going to be any surge whatsoever I'll get a magnifying glass on that hopefully it's the S version which will do um, which will do two amps so we'll just look in the mains plug and for those people in the not in the UK the UK has an electrical system where these plugs are rated as a maximum of 13 amps at 230 volts. I'm going to make sure that's tight. It doesn't have an earth because uh, I don't think that's good because well, it's, it's um, a European device. If this was UK, it would definitely have an earth. But they're working on the fact it's double insulated because the power supply transformer is isolated. It's got a primary and a secondary. But to be honest, to make this really safe, you would put an earth mains lead on. It's even got the earth tag there. Furthermore, this needs to be shrouded for UK legislation. The chance of this broad, somebody's bought this in from abroad. So it doesn't meet UK standards. And it also, oh, I'm just looking at the fuse. Yeah, it does have a mains fuse, which is there, but again, it would need to be shrouded. And the other thing is you've got you've got mains, 230 volts, on that board. So I'm glad I bought it because I want to use it. I want to do this demonstration. But if somebody opened that up, I'm hoping you can't poke anything in there. No, you'd be you'd be hard pushed to to get anything in the slots and and get into the raw mains there but it's not good it does at least have a double pole a double pole main switch and for those of you who don't know what that means it's got it switches the live and the neutral at the same time because some switches will only switch one of them which isn't ideal by a long way so this would have been made for 230 220 volts and we're 230 so there we go. So I'll just look at that. I'll switch the soldering iron on too. So it's, yes, it's a 78S12. So it's capable of two amps. And it's not capable of five. So that is absolute bull. 
this has slipped off the off the device. I just need to get that spring clip back on somehow. That was me pushing it rather than an instrument mal malfunction. It does have heat sink compound, so that's fine. So what we're going to do, and all we're going to do, is we're going to change those capacitors and test them. There's only two of them. Um, this is bound to be um, early 80s, so it's going to be 30 something years old. So use, in whether it's had a lot of use or, or not, and I don't think it's had a lot of use. There's no um, sign of anything discolouring. Um, we'll change those two capacitors just so that it's got a good um, bit of life in it. So I'll pause the video while I pop those out. Right, that's the capacitors changed. So this wouldn't, I say, this wouldn't be legal to sell in the UK as a new unit um, with it not having that shrouding and not having a three core mains lead. At least it's got a good cord grip. Uh, the fuse in the plug's three amps, so that's fine. So you've got this other fuse there. There isn't a secondary fuse, only a primary fuse. And I would, I can't see how this can be five amp surge because it's a two amp, that chip is a two amp device. So this is two amps, full stop, and we'll get out the uh, the test machine, the electronic load, and we'll see. First of all, we'll just check what our peak ESR meter thinks of these capacitors. They're probably fine, but uh, with it being 30 odd years old, it's good practice to swap them at this point. So it should be 4.7 microfarads, it's a bit high. Don't know about the ESR as being zero, that doesn't sound right, does it? That's in the bin. So the Deu 200, 2200 at 25 volts, I've replaced with a higher um, heat one. This is 85 degrees, I've put 105 degrees in. Um, I've also gone to 35 volts because I reckon with, with this being, a, this is going to be 220 volt and we're 230 volts, that percentage difference could take the voltage across there beyond 25 volts but we haven't switched it on to find out but we will do soon yeah well that's about right we'll throw that away as well good so that should last so we're going to power that up and first of all we'll use our RS test meter our made in China RS test meter. Yeah, we do have two AVO 8s and an AVO 7, but uh, they're not convenient, are they? So we'll connect that to the thing and let's hope it's somewhere around 12.6 volts. And it is. Now that's a 12 volt regulator, and what they've probably done is to put a diode in series with the uh, the ground on it by lifting up the ground above the ground potential you can get these to give a, a slightly different voltage although it's a fixed voltage voltage regulator they've done some jiggery pokery to make it the 12.6 they say it is because when i first saw that i thought well, and it's got a 12 volt regulator you think well is it true but it is it's 12.6 i'll get the electronic load out and we'll see what happens when we start loading it up. Now for UK CBs, there's very few that go over one and a half amps. Some of the more recent models are a bit power hungry with the CPUs. So obviously anything over 1.8 amps, I don't think you'd want to be running from this type of power supply. But I bought it because it was 12.6 volts and we've got a particular need with those emergency sets that we test. So I'll put the camera back to uh, standby. We'll get out the electronic load. Okay, so that's the electronic load got out, connected up. And it says it's 12.687. So let's put some, let's put 500 milliamps on it for a start. So at half an amp, 
It's 12.7 volts, so it's actually gone up. I'm going to do this live. So we're now at 1 amp. It's 12.7 volts. 1.5 amps. It's 12.7 volts. So most UK CBs, if you wanted a 12 volt supply, that would not be changing. So let's go up to the limit. So 1.6, 1.7, 8, 1.9, 2 amps, still 12.7 volts. Now at this point, it's probably warming up, it is. So now what we'll do, we'll take that off. Now they say that it's 5 amp surge. So let's see what happens. Okay, there's our 5 amps. So let's see just what happens. I'm going to switch it on just for a second, just for that surge. So on no load at the moment is 12.7 volts. It shuts it down to 0 0.5 of a volt. So it doesn't do 5 volt, 5 amp surge at all. Uh, I'd be interested to see whether it does a 3 amp surge. So we'll, let's just test that. Shuts it down. So let's see whether it does 2.5 amps as a surge. Shuts it down. 2.1 amps as a surge. Yes, it does. It supports that. So it is a 2 amp power supply and the 5 amp surge is a load of B stroke S. Right, I'll put it back together. There we are, it's a nice smart case. It does 2.1 amps. There's a noisy crow outside. Good grief, what size is that crow? I think the crow was admiring the uh, daffodils which are coming out in the garden outside. So you have it, the Alpha Electronica 12.6 volt power supply from the early 1980s and ideal to run those 12 volt walkie talkies and 12 volt uh, emergency sets off. Thank you for watching.